you okay? Yeah, I guess. That was pretty intense. Yeah. The police just left and I'm still shaking. Oh, I, I thought someone uh, was being assaulted or something. You believe it? We were the only two people to come out to see if anything was wrong. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, my name's Kathy. Oh, uh, Pat. I'm Pat. I live in uh, apartment 202A. Mm -hmm. Can't believe that man is dead. I know. You know, it was strange. You know, I hesitated. What do you mean? I should have done more, CPR or something. Hey, there, there was nothing more you could have done. He might have had a disease. Listen, um, my apartment's right down the hall. I just made some coffee. Would you like some? Yeah. Okay. How long have you lived in the building? Uh, two months. I must have moved in right before you took over. Are you a student? Well, I was. Um, I have a degree in history. Oh. I plan to go back. Uh, I work at the university library. And maybe I'll go back to get my master's in library sciences or something. <laughs> really? That's interesting. Oh, sugar? Uh, no black. So, do you read much? Mm, not as much as I used to. <laughs> I love old movies. Uh, yeah, me too. You know, they had real feeling back then. Well, what do you mean? Well, I don't know. People cared about things more. They were so romantic. The man loved the woman, and the woman loved the man. They were happy together. People talked to each other more. Yeah. I'd watch them all the time, except Rick doesn't like them. Rick? Um, my husband. Oh, of course. The ring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is he? He's out at the bar with uh, some co-workers. You don't go along? Well, one of us needs to be here in case something goes wrong. Anyway, it's fine with me. I, I don't drink and I don't really like to be around people when they do. So, uh, do you and Rick get out much then? Or? Well, he's busy right now. With, I mean, we do things, I guess, but with school and the apartment, we don't have much time. That must be hard. I, I don't mean to complain. Oh, no, uh, it must be hard. I couldn't imagine being married. Why not? Well, let's just say I haven't had the best experiences. You know, you run into a bad situation and you keep it from going any further. There's no one special in your life? No, not anymore. Well, marriage isn't bad. It's not what they say it is either. I guess you make do. So, uh, are you happy then? Well, managing this place has put a lot of stress on us. You've seen some of that tonight. And I'm busy working at the bank right now, and he's busy with school. We hardly ever see each other. We, we fight a lot. He's not very happy right now, but I think when we have our own house, things will be different. Yeah, a home does make a difference. It does, doesn't it? We should be able to get a really nice place. I'm sorry. What? I've talked about myself so much, I probably sound ridiculous. No, not at all. Uh, sometimes it's just good to talk. Yeah, it is good. Thank you. Besides, we only end up talking about that guy killing himself. Yeah. What do you think made him do it? I don't know. I guess when you're that desperate, it must be impossible to be rational. Who's to say what rational is? Well, that's why I don't drink. You've got to be clear-headed about things.
Gotta do what the boss says. Gotta do what the boss says. Oh, I think so. Oh. Good morning, sir. Now that I've finally woken up, what I realize I really need is more gin. Where were you last night? I really needed a place to crash. Some really, really heavy shit went down last night. Oh, yeah? This guy hung himself. Mm. Was he a dentist? How the hell should I know? Well, you know, I read somewhere that uh, dentists lead all other professions in suicide. Librarians aren't even in the top 50. But they are in the top 10 for alcoholism. Wood chip. Pretty comfortable when you're drunk. Hey, you're gonna be around tonight. Well, actually, I'm uh, having coffee with uh, Kathy tonight. Kathy. Oh, uh, the manager. Uh, I, I met her last night when that guy hung himself. What does this Kathy look like? Drop dead gorgeous. I mean. Would I have seen her around any place? I don't know, she's pretty new. Uh, maybe you should go upstairs for a while. Whatever do you mean? Well, nothing. Uh, I'm just saying it's been a long day for you. You've been at the bar all afternoon. Time stands still. Uh, yes, but uh, you've been at the bar all afternoon, and uh, you didn't get much sleep last night. Maybe you should go upstairs and uh, crash a while. I'm Jim Dandy. But uh, be polite, and uh, no more drinking. She's uncomfortable around drinkers. Well, I can't wait to meet this paragon of virtue. I don't get it. She said she'd be here. Well, let's go. saw the cleaning cart. I'm sorry, I lost track of time. I, I meant to leave you a note on the door. Oh, oh this is my friend Miles. Hi. Um, I thought we could do dinner, but uh, I end up working late, and this is going to take a lot longer than I thought. Uh, well, we could help. It'll get done faster. Uh, no, that's OK. Hey, it's no problem. Well, if you guys really wouldn't mind, uh, it, it would help a lot. Um, I'll order a pizza. Oh, sure thing. Oh. I'm used to this sort of stuff. I used to do custodial and groundskeeping for the university. They called him friend of the rodents. Well, that's because I was always rescuing injured animals and taking them to the Humane Society. <laughs> you know, squirrels, ducks, rabbits. I could see you doing that. Someday, if I own my own house, I'd uh, build a brick wall around the backyard and let loose a bunch of different colored Netherland dwarf rabbits. <laughs> and. Uh, There'd be uh, Christmas lights hanging on the wall year-round, and I'd uh, fill the yard with junk art. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> don't forget to mount gun turrets on the walls to keep the rest of the world out. Hey, please don't smoke in here. 
Uh, secondhand smoke is ten times more carcinogenic to the non-smoker. Well, I, I wouldn't want to offend the non-smoker's innocent pink lungs. I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Where are you going? Uh, where conditions are a little less uh, salubrious. Uh, sorry about that. I'm not sure I like your friend. Well, he's not so bad when you get to know him. I know he shouldn't smoke, but uh, what can I do? You can start by pulling those nails out of the wall. <laughs> Isn't the tenant supposed to do this? Uh, he was supposed to. Well, this guy be getting his security deposit back. He better not. But I've seen worse. <laughs> there were these guys on the top floor that airbrushed these spaceships and, and wombats all over the place. And they painted on the back of the door the new Oz in big red letters. It's not funny. I'm sorry, it just sounds so absurd. And that door was originally from 1929. And the owner kicked him out the day he saw it. He won't tolerate vandals and dope smokers. Jeez. Yeah, this is a beautiful old building. People around here are pigs. I mean, they have no regard for the care and the time put into this place over the years. Huh. Hmm. Hello, sir. Hey. Say, I'm waiting for the yellow jackets. What do you say to a little R and R? There's beer in the fridge. Have some. But I've got no food, no cookies, no puppy chow, nothing. Great view. Yeah. I like to come up here every once in a while just to get away. You know, this used to be an old observation deck when it was a hotel back in the 20s. <laughs> I remember when I was a little girl, my dad bought me a pet rabbit. <laughs> I was so excited. I. I rode around on my bike showing my rabbit to all the kids in the neighborhood. I had the rabbit in one hand by the scruff of the neck, my handlebars in the other. <laughs> and the poor thing was so scared he died of a heart attack. <laughs> I always felt bad about that. <laughs> telling you about pizza I had pizza for lunch <clears throat> oh hey uh, Kathy I'm sorry I just remembered I have uh, I have some things I need to do uh, thanks anyway uh, see you soon uh, Rick uh, it was nice meeting you Phil and I were just chuffing our way through history. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Good beer? Oh, yeah, thanks. I get it at Jeffsville's convenience store, $4.99 a case. If I bring all the bottles back, I get a dollar off my next purchase. No kidding. I've got beer to bring me down, and Coke to bring me up, and beer to bring me back down again. Looks uh, like you got some new medication. Well, sir, I'm crazy. Certified. Dr. Price prescribes a medication. Prescribe anything for anybody. Oh. Dipped in maple syrup does not contain 100% pure tobacco product. Mm. <sighs> kind of gives them a nice cedar flavor. Man, I wish Kathy wasn't married. Dr. Price says I've got a very irregular head. Forget about her. One day you'll find your own Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Hey, Phil, did you know Pat is going into library sciences? I like books. I read all the classics. I've got a box full of penguins under my bed. But I gave them up to become a beatnik. Then I became a hippie and a yuppie. <laughs> now I'm a guppy. <laughs> uh, a guppy is a fish, Phil. If a guppy's a fish, then I'm brain food, because a fish is brain food. You hear that, Miles? I read the classics and I'm brain food. <laughs> I know how this one ends! Come on, guys, let's hit the bricks. is unhappy with her marriage. I think they both are. But how could he be unhappy when she is such sexy? I, I don't... I, I just wish she wasn't married. Life is just a succession of mediocrities and disappointments with momentary pockets of happiness. Pockets of happiness that we savor until the next one comes along. What's profound, Phil? I can levitate the Pentagon, too. Ginsburg and I went to Washington once. He can do it, too. Ginsburg the writer. No, Ginsburg the taxidermist. Yeah. I knew him. My life is in a rut. You, you, you. You went to school, you had lots of sex, and you got a good job. What more were you expecting, Paris? I have to go throw up. Ditto. Hey, man, get up.
Hey, 202A, when are you going to do something about that crack in the wall? You've got to get it fixed. It's on your side. Then how do you know about this? Because I hear everything. Well, don't press your ear against the wall so hard, darling. Look, I'm talking to him, not you. You don't even pay rent here. If you don't do something about the wall soon, I'll go to the manager. Prig, you need a new spine. I'm telling you, there's a spark between Kathy and me. A woman looks at you and says hello, and in your mind, you're dating, in love, married, and then divorced with three kids, all in ten minutes. I just wish she wasn't married. Well, if she's looking for a way out, you'd be the perfect specimen. Then we'd have her husband breaking down your door while she moves in with her boss at the bank. Of all the women around here, I don't know why you have to choose her. She needs someone who understands her. Besides, we bonded. What? During the suicide? You just need to get laid. Kathy's husband gives me bad vibes. Could it be because his wife is spending so much time alone with a strange man when he's not at home? A reasonable question. So, tonight's the big date. Well, we're just friends. Uh, you know, Rick will be there anyway. Even better. A manage a toi. Yeah, you, you don't even like this stuff. Yeah, I don't like this stuff, and you don't like this stuff. But I can sell this stuff back next semester and keep myself in my cups, can't I? Hey, I've got a great idea. Hmm. Why don't you? Pull the fire alarm, and I'll clean the place out. I'll see you later. Hmm. Rick usually calls if he's late. It's not like him to miss dinner. Well, thanks for helping me with the dishes. Oh, no problem. Hey, my friend Eva called me today. She works at Disney. And she has this friend that works in the archives. He has a library sciences degree. <laughs> Made me think of you right away. I could see you in charge of the entire film library. Wouldn't that be a great job? <laughs> oh, I always put the glasses upside down. That way if there's a little bit of water, it'll go out the bottom. And you wouldn't want any dust to settle at the bottom of the glass. Oh, OK. Uh, what else did Ava say? She complained about her brother. What about? He's not doing anything with his life. He lives on this farm in Vermont with these other guys in a tent, and all they do is pick strawberries and drink beer all day. That doesn't sound so bad. I mean, it's an uncomplicated lifestyle. It's a dead end. I mean, he should be planning for his future. Yeah, you're right. Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you, I went to Herzig's funeral this morning. Herzig? You know that guy in the apartment? Oh. It was so sad. His, his parents were there and his brother, but he didn't have any friends. Uh, that's why I go to all my friends' funerals. Otherwise, they may not show up at mine. Hello? Oh, hi, honey. Oh, I understand. Um, just started a movie. Okay. Yes, I took your shirts to the dry cleaner this afternoon. Okay. All right. Love you. 
Bye. Well, Rick's working on a group project. He won't be home till late. You know what Kathy's problem is? She's caught up in this white picket fence dream thing. I think Kathy would look real good with nothing on but a white kitchen apron. And she sees Rick as this uh, one-way ticket to a big house and a garden in the burbs. And you think you could give it to her? What you need is a woman. Fat, skinny, pretty, as long as it's a girly. My advice to you, man, is to go ugly early. You need a woman, not this loser. I'm gonna get a piss. Why don't you get another round of drinks? Personally, my good man, I'd recommend the French tickler. You don't say. Oh, yeah. Works like a charm. In like Flynn. If you have the mechanics down. Put it on the wrong head and you just might suffocate. <laughs> That's Kathy's husband. Where? The big guy next to the woman in the gray shirt. Apparently so. What do we do? Find another bar to drink at. I'm serious. So am I. We need a nice, quiet corner tap where we have nothing to worry about but our own swollen livers. Hey, Frank, how about a carry out? Ten dollars. Hey, Rick. You been here long? No, uh, we're just picking up a carryout. Works like a charm. I still can't believe it. A woman like Kathy, and he's out screwing around. You know, it kills me. You know, how do I tell her? Don't forget about it. <sighs> what a fucker. We're out of beer. What are we going to do about that? You know, for the life of me, I can't see what a woman like Kathy is doing with a guy like him. <clears throat> it's just a pile of the habits that formed her. <laughs> I'm full of piles. Piles of medical waste and dust. Oldest thing in the world, dust. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust and more dust. My head's full of dust. Any more dust and we're gonna bust. 80% <laughs> of household dust is composed of decomposed human skin. That's right! You are a very astute young man. I'm hungry. Let's go to Greece. George the Greek gives me fries and soda, all I can drink. Ah, but do they have liquor? <laughs> George the Greek has anything you could ever want. But I'm not allowed to talk to the customers. <laughs> ha. You coming? Where? Out. No, uh, I've got some things to do. I'll catch you guys later. I don't know about Pat. Sometimes I think he's driving down the wrong road. I took a bus down Capitol Drive once. If you take it long enough, it turns into Highway 61. And that took me to outer space, where I visited the Great Barrier Reef. Then I went to Mexico, where I lived underground with a tribe of white people that grew cabbages by astronomy. Oh, they were the biggest and best I've ever tasted. You're out of your mind. Sure, I know that. You will be too. You're on your way, you know. It'll just take a little longer. Just wait a few years. That's when the Yellow Jackets are coming. I'll read about it. Just four more years and we are gone. What about Pat? Sure, he's going too.
Good morning. Uh, I'm sorry to be uh, bothering you so late, so, but there's this uh, very large crack in my wall. Is everything okay, Rick? No, honey, it's all right. I got it. You came down here in the middle of the night to complain about a crack in the wall? Well, um, I was wondering if you could fix it before it gets any worse. Yeah, I can fix it. When I have the time, I'll fix it. Something to meet your affections. What? We can't yeah. have pets here. I'm banking a mess. You can't bring that in here. Stinks like fish out here. Yeah, I'm starved. Oh, okay. An hour would be fine. Oh, great. Okay. Bye bye. So, what are we having? I talked to the manager today, and I told him about all the damage you did to the wall. Damage we did? I told him about you. Your name isn't even on the lease. I think I'm in love. I'm not done with you yet. Hi. Miles, how are you? Hungry. Oh, Rick's here. He didn't have to work today. Come on in. library sciences. Isn't that wonderful? It's like being the custodian of all the world's knowledge. Custodian of the world's knowledge? Librarians don't contribute anything to society. The books are already there. I hold down two jobs and go to school full time. Miles, what do you do? Nothing. Uh, Miles is a philosopher of sorts. Oh. Really? I've just read Beyond Good and Evil. What do you think of Nietzsche? I think Nietzsche's brilliance can be traced solely to the length and breadth of his mustache. It is my fervent belief that every morning Freddy Nitschke would brew a heady broth, drink deep, and allow the essential nutrients to become absorbed into his rather prodigious mustache, so that throughout the day his philosophical musings would go uninterrupted by anything as mundane as the preparation of a meal i.e. ergo, to it, and therefore. The theory of the Superman went unmolested by the vagaries of home economics. That's what I think of Nietzsche. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how is it uh, managing this place? We're always pretty busy with something, aren't we? Um, tell them what you found the other day. I found shit in the stairwell. Shit? So you actually cleaned it up? <laughs> I had to. That is gross. That's my job. So, do you put will work with feces on your resume? 
Well, this building is so huge, it's, it's overwhelming. Mm. Yeah, it sure is huge, and it's full of so many apartments. <laughs> yeah, well, Kathy and I have run places in the past, but this one is different. This one's like a cross between running a nursing home and a daycare center. Well, the old people are nice. It's the kids that are the problem. <laughs> kids. They aren't kids. 24, 25 years old. Supposedly educated. I'm baffled as to how stupid and narrow and petty they really are. I mean, take the lobby, for example. The other day, I find the word whore carved in the woodwork. Solid mahogany. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I remember Kathy and I spent, what, almost all night cleaning out this one guy's apartment. <laughs> he really trashed the place, remember? <laughs> Pat's a lifesaver. Pato mint. <laughs> you like it? I made it myself. I really enjoy working with metals. I consider myself somewhat of an artisan. Wow, that's nice. You know, it's sort of like sculpture. Well, I mean, except it's nicer because, uh, you know, you made it yourself in the, instead of buying it. The uh, balance is off. Funny. I could slip this knife between somebody's ribs, killing them instantly. I highly doubt balance would matter. Who knows, maybe someday I'll find the punk who carved whore in the woodwork and get the opportunity. Um, can I get you another pad? Oh, sure, thanks. <clears throat> yeah, that was pretty bad about that lobby. The other night, I get this phone call, 3 a.m., some woman complaining that there's a guy up on the eighth floor spraying a fire extinguisher all over the place. So drunk, doesn't even hear me yelling at him. So you know what I did? Uh, what? Come here. Here, give me your arm. See, I grabbed his wrist and I bent it. See, now I'm in complete... Stop what? it, Rick! What are you siding with him for? Let me see your wrist. It's all right, though. Let me get you some ice. Hey, Hercules, don't piss him off. I'm sorry. Oh, hi. Um, please, I need you to come out. There's a really strange man followed me into the lobby and he's still there. All right, I'll take care of it. Kathy, can I have some help, please? Pizza money? Hello, sir. Care to imbibe? Yes, 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 yes. After you. charge and all the eight ounces of Bud Light you can drink. See, why don't you go ahead and save us a seat? We'll combine a bit. Feel this guy's socks. Mmm. Argyle. Expensive. These babies must run eight bucks a pair. Eight what? bucks? <laughs> Just for socks? Eight bucks, Miles? Yeah. Eight, eight buckaroonies. <laughs> My dear, you have lovely feet. Get the hell 
out of my lobby now. I hang my hand. I say, get the hell out of my lobby. Yeah, I. for dinner and he brought his weird philosopher friend and Rick and I left with the tenant and we came back a few minutes later and they were smoking and drinking in the living room and they had some bum giving massages to the pizza girl. I mean we were only gone a couple of minutes. Okay. What did you do then? <sighs> he just walked out. And I haven't talked to him for about a week. Why don't you do Stevie's home and invite him over for dinner? Oh, I'm embarrassed about the whole thing. Is he cute? He's nice. Nice? Nice. You know what nice usually means. It usually means a short, bald, fat unit. <laughs> <laughs> is he nice or is he, you know, nice to get to know? Should I see if he's home? Hey. Hi. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the other night. Um, I wanted to come up here and, and talk to you. Oh, um, Kathy, um, I'm sorry about uh, last week. It, things got out of hand. Um, I, I didn't mean to insult you. Uh, you're the last person I'd want to offend, really. Uh, it's, it's my fault, too. Um, I was tired. I, I overreacted. Oh. It, it's stupid. Um, I'm sorry I didn't come to apologize sooner. But don't worry. Don't worry. Well, I was wondering if you'd like to come over for dinner. Um, if you haven't eaten, my sister's here. I'd like for you to meet her. Oh, sure. Um, can I come over in, in about 15 minutes? Or? Great. I'll see you soon. Okay. You know, I don't know why I was so upset. I think that when I saw you like that, it's something that I needed. I felt like it was lost. I think maybe I, I started to depend on you. Well, how? Oh, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't be talking like this. Well, it, it's okay. Um, it, I'm here for you if you, if you need to, <clears throat> you know, to depend on me. No, it, it's not all right. Um, listen, I gotta go. Diane's waiting. See you for dinner? Sure. Says 
you like old movies. Yeah, I do. But I've never heard of these. Uh, are they any good? Oh, yeah. You know, watching <clears throat> an old movie is the closest thing to stepping into a time machine. <laughs> you says the funniest thing. Yeah, just one big running joke. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that uh, film has been around for about 100 years, and yeah, this is the first century ever that it's been filmed. And uh, we have the privilege to see the whole thing in uh, uh, retrospect. Yeah, right. I'll be back. I'm going to have a cigarette. It just smells like a fire. Kathy, um, uh, you know when you said you started to d depend on me? Well, I, I understand. I, I started to depend on you, too. No, um, I don't know. Uh, listen, Kathy. I uh, really care for you. I've uh, I've missed seeing you too. The lasagna is almost done. Listen, um, Kathy, uh, I'm here for you. <clears throat> Let's eat dinner. It's vegetarian. I think you'll like it. Oh, I, I think I'd better go. Leaving so soon? Uh, yeah, uh, I've got some things to do. You don't look like you have anything to do. What? Just what I said. I, I've got to go. What are you so upset about? I'm, I'm sorry, I just... Look, Pat, you can talk to me. It's okay. Well, I... What are you doing later? Well, I have to go to Walgreens, but... Why don't we go across the street and get a glass of wine? Or a Coke? We can sit and talk and in an hour. Uh. Oh, I'll talk to Kathy. Sure, why not? See you there. Cephalopod. Ceph. French for pertaining to or of the head, pod, Greek for foot. Imagine having one long mouth running along the bottom of your foot. I'd like to be a cephalopod. I'd live in dank places under rocks and digest everything I came across. This place is a dump. When my Uncle Linus dies, I'm moving to the Burbs. You've been saying that as long as I've known you. $500,000 is a lot of money. Mm. That's how much my Uncle Linus is leaving me when he dies. I'm making you my trustee, Miles. <laughs> Getting a hair transplant, an eye surgery, and three inches added to my pecker. Oh, yeah. And new teeth. The porcelain kind. The little pictures painted on them. I've got a rich uncle. Bastard won't give me a dime. When he dies, I hope they bury him face down so he knows which way he's going. <laughs> oh, here's our young scalawag. Well, what is it? He won't believe it. I think Kathy's sister just hit on me. What? Yeah, I really think she just hit on me. I was downstairs and she was smoking and... She touched me and looked at me, and I'm meeting her in an hour. Well, 
Phil, another bottle. It appears celebrations are in order. No miles. No miles. <laughs> no miles. <laughs> you know, I tried to tell Kathy how I felt about Relax. her, but she Relax. But uh, she wouldn't listen. You've got an hour. It's so. Phil. You were saying. Oh, yeah. When I move to the Burbs, I'm opening a swanky jazz lounge with 75 cent taps of bud and boxes of cigars. Those little stubby ones that look like pork sausages. You know, Phil, everyone says you're a loser. But I think you're one high tone son of a bitch. It's so simple. But you do need a bookshelf. Here, put it in your mouth. Thanks. Mm. What kind are these? They're from India. Oh, they smell different, but good. Maybe I would like it for you. Oh, okay. So, you're a librarian. Yeah, sort of. Um, have you checked out any good books lately? No, actually. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> so, uh, what do you do for a living? Well, I work at the County Psychiatric Institute. Oh, that's interesting. Like nursing, rehab? Research assistants. Do you have a degree in psychology? Yeah. So, you know everything uh, there is to know about people? I know everything there is to know about lab rats. Oh. <laughs> no, thanks. You know, I shouldn't be drinking this beer. Well, it's not a crime to let loose every once in a while. No. But I have this little heart condition. Too much alcohol is not very good for you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know that. Runs in the family. My mother died when she was only 43 years old. I thought Kathy might have mentioned it. Oh, uh, no. Uh, well, she controls herself better than I do. I say what I like. So maybe you shouldn't drink so much? Like I said, she's the controlled one. I do what I want to do. Besides, what's the difference? My mother never drank. Well, what's the difference? You could die. Come on. How long do you want to live anyway? Think of how boring everything would get. <laughs> it's really the same old bullshit. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Pat. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to help? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Great. So, do you really feel like pushing around carts of dusty old books for the next 30 years? I don't know. No, at least I'd have health insurance. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Everything gets old eventually. Everything. You know, I could have the most glamorous job in the world. I could be a movie star, and I bet even that would get old sooner or later. Yeah. So, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to have fun. And enjoy the moment. Well, at least you enjoyed life. Well, you know what they say. Every moment of pleasure is a little bit of death. Who says that? I says that. <laughs> Can I have another beer? Oh, sure. You know, this is going to sound weird, but if that guy had hung himself, I wouldn't have met you. Well, his uh, bad luck was my good luck.
You know, Rick actually thought that you were having an affair with Kathy. What? Yeah. He stormed into my apartment one night. He was ready to kill you. Jeez. Is he still upset? No. Uh, he has the key to my apartment. Don't worry about it. I had a little talk with him, and he seems to be doing a lot better. Besides, you're here with me now. So you did the sister? Yeah. What about Kathy? Hey, Phil's check comes in tonight. I don't think I'm gonna go out with you guys tonight. What? Where are you going? Seeing Diane. Oh. Well, where can I meet you later? Uh, nowhere. Nowhere. What? Where am I going to stay? Well, what about Phil's? Phil's rug stinks. If everything goes well tonight, I won't need to come back here. Just make sure you're here in the morning to let me back in. Diane, I'm locked out of my apartment. Diane. Oh, hi, Kathy. Sorry to bother you. I, I'm locked out. You're locked out? Yeah. Hold on. Thanks. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oh. 
Wait, Kathy, I didn't do this. something soon I'm going to the owner your friend kept the entire floor up last night I'll talk to him I'm tired of dealing with the two of you it's like dealing with a couple of ten-year-olds I'm really sorry no mister I'm sorry by the way maybe the library would like to know about your little book collection mind your own fucking business to get a hold of you. I'll uh, try you again later. Bye. Uh, Diane. Uh, it's Pat. Uh, uh, just checking in again. Bye. Hello? Uh, Diane, it's Pat. Yeah, hi. I've been trying to call. Did you get the messages? Yeah, I did. Are you busy? Yes, I am busy. I just called to see how you were doing. Look, Pat, what do you want? I wanted to see you again. I think you're making too much out of this. Do you want me to call you back later? I don't know. We'll see. What? I have to go. Oh, wait. <laughs> Go. I'm already late. What's happening? Can't we see each other again tonight? I don't know. Look, you had fun, right? That's what matters. Everything gets old eventually, remember? What? Everything gets old sooner or later. That includes men. What are you talking about? It's only one night. Maybe you should try it more often. To say. Say you leave me alone.
that's what I call a good cigar. Well, look at him. He's as happy as a clam at high tide. My life is going to shit. You sure fucked up. What? Do you want me to put myself out of everybody's misery? You know, I've contemplated suicide before. But if I ever got to the point where I was actually going to do it, if I ever sank that low, I'd buy a one-way ticket to Amsterdam, blow my mind on prostitutes and heroin. Why die when you can go to Amsterdam? I think I loved her. If you loved her, why did you bone her sister? Look, Kathy doesn't give a shit about me anyway. I don't think she ever did. What do I do now? I don't know. Whatever you do, do. Remember, check with me first. I was in love once. Her name was Pearl. She was as sweet as a roasted chestnut. She had beautiful eyes. Beautiful, but sad and lonely like the grave. I would spend hours staring into the grave. Deep into the grave. The grave is a quiet and restful place. Wait! I've got a cigar for you. Is uh, Diane there? Uh, no, Diane's busy right now. Can I take a message? Hello? Yeah, uh, I'm calling in sick. Uh, I don't know, upset stomach, uh, maybe the flu. Yeah, well, thanks.
Look, uh, Kathy, I've got to talk to you. We have nothing to say to each other. Please, this is important. I know I should have told you before this, but you know, things got complicated and I didn't know how to. This is quite a build-up. I don't know what to say. Look, I know you're upset and uh, I want to make things up to you and, and put things back together. What things, Pat? You know, I think you're one thing and I trust you and I turn around and you're someone completely different. What's wrong with you, Pat? I'm sorry, but just please leave me alone. Oh, but it's also about Rick. What about Rick? Rick is sleeping around. I'm sure of it. I've seen him with another woman. And last night, at four in the morning, he was with your sister. You know, what do you think he was doing there? You're not even making sense anymore. I'm telling you this because I think I'm in love with you. I tried to tell you before. Look, I, I know I've messed up, but you deserve someone better than him. You and I are good for each other. I think you feel the same way about me. Kathy. What about you? You and Diane. I'm sorry. I, I know I made some mistakes, but they were all unintentional. Kathy, you mean everything to me. And you've told me everything, you know, how you're his cook, his housekeeper, his secretary. He neglects you. You, above all people, to talk about my husband like that. Kathy. Just leave me alone. Kathy. Rick, just get away from me. You know, the only problem with my marriage right now is you. I don't like you, and I don't like you messing in my life. But I saw you with another woman. Stay out of my business. You got that? Stay out of my business and away from my wife, or you'll be crapping your teeth. And bear in mind, Kathy doesn't believe a word you say. And you know what the real kicker is? Half of me could give her more than all of you ever could. And she knows that. And you know that too, don't you, Pat? Isn't that a fucking joke?